Raven, her very own show, and now she's playing a disco diva turned nun <laughs> on Broadway's hit musical, in Broadway's hit musical Sister Act. Please welcome to our show the fabulous little sister in my head, Raven Simone. <laughs> But Thank you. Still sexy. I had to prove to the people behind the scenes that I can put myself together. So this is what that's for. So wait. It's a whole nother moment. Wait, what does that mean? Well, you know, people want to tell you what to wear and what to do and how to fix your hair. And sometimes... Are you reading the blogs? Are you still... Oh, no, I still don't do okay, that. Okay, I was going to say. I can't even deal with those yes. people. Yes. But I mean, other people that were like, well, you should look like this person. I'm like, no, I should look like myself. Yes. So today was, I put myself together. Yes. With the help of all of my makeup artists and hair and clothes, yes. and I did it today, so... But you gave all the direction. Uh, yes. I like your edgy, PC hair. Now, I know that you have beautiful raven hair, but I also know that you're my wig sister. Oh! And... Click. <laughs> and... Click. <laughs> so, I oh. draw. So, I, I sit, I'm you? giving you one of, a do one of my doodles. So, I'm giving you a doodle. Can you get it, Rambo? It's so or, small. Who's going to get it? I have, a, really I have a small. Yeah, you can. I'll show yeah. it during the after show. It's a doodle. I have an art uncle at the studio, so I've been practicing my doodles. I'll show it during drawing. the after show. Oh, you're so sweet. I, I mean, I'm loving the idea of Raven on Broadway. Is this your first time being in a play? This is my um, debut in a leading role on Broadway. When I was five years old, I did some days with the Boys Choir of Harlem on yes. Broadway. So. Well, I have to tell you, when we commute every day, we get off of uh, 280 and get on the turnpike, and then the 495 viaduct right by the Sonics, and there's this gigantic... <laughs> <laughs> right outside the Lincoln Tunnel. It's bigger than life. It's, it's all lot. you. It's a lot. And it's all about Broadway. And, and I brought some people act. from the show here, some of the guys, so they're in the audience. They love you. They didn't want to... I've seen the show. Oh, you have? Oh, oh I've seen oh, the show. I saw it before you got to Broadway, so I'm very familiar with your role. I know. I haven't seen the audience yet. Come on now, Wendy. But Come on. I, it was good enough to see again, you guys. It Yay. really was. And I hear that the tickets are going like wildfire with Thank you goodness. on Broadway. I'm so happy. We've had wonderful crowds. I do have something to say. Please don't bring a camera to the audience. I will point you out. <laughs> I will point you out. But otherwise, the shows have been going wonderful. I have a wonderful Broadway family. I've been yes. having the time of my life. So do you love live audience? Well, you know, I've done concerts my whole entire life, and doing a TV show, you have a live audience. Yes, I love them. I love that I'm doing, like, a concert and a movie all in one. Yes. And you get that, you know, that quick satisfaction. But at the same time, it is hard because we're doing the same jokes over and over again. It's hard to make them fresh for an audience that doesn't get the joke that they got, you know, right. in the matinee or before. Right. So it keeps you on your toes. Uh, has Whoopi Goldberg given you any advice? She told me to listen to the director, Jerry Zachs. We have wonderful directors and wonderful producers and stage now, managers. And she just said they've been doing it for so long, they know what they're talking about. Do you have a reputation for not listening? <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out, like, like you, would, you would listen, even if she didn't tell you that, you'd be listening to the director. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. Like, you don't work as an actress since you're three years old and, and, and not listen to the director. I mean, you know, you're, you're... there's moments. Oh. But oh. they're all for reasons. Yes. I don't do it just to be a, like that. I do it because Diva. I just don't believe in what you're talking about. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so your character wears a wide range of outfits yes. on Broadway. Yes. Are you loving the costumes? I love the costumes. So that silver dress, I'm totally went. Nothing's strapping in. Um, and I love the nun outfit. The cool thing about Broadway, which I learned, which they don't really do on all the TV shows or different movies, uh -huh. is that they make the costumes, even down to the shoes, directly for you. I had like two weeks of Fittings. Fittings. I was like, wow, like, I don't even have to wear a bra in this stuff. This is crazy. It's great. No apparatuses, no spanks. Like, I am free. Will they let you keep the costumes afterwards? No, I already the... asked that, but I am keeping the underwear. Are you, do they let you buy the costumes? I don't know. If you want See, to? normally I just take it, but I can't because yes, it's Broadway. Yes, they're watching. There's yeah. like a whole bunch of people watching, but I'm, t I'm keeping the underwear. Okay, so now while, while you're doing your run on, on Broadway, you're living in the greatest city in the world, New York. And I read page six, and I read the, 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 you know, the gossip columns every day, and I never see anything you know about you. You're not going to see me, Wendy. You know you're not going to see me. Are you hitting the clubs? I, my, my, <laughs> um, <laughs> now I can't go because I'm telling you. <laughs> but I went to Greenhouse two times. Oh. I absolutely love it. That's where young people go. I love it. I see.
see my RuPaul's Drag Race queens there, I am in heaven. So yes. I'm good. Yes. Uh, so, and are you single? You know, I don't talk about this, but I will say I am very happy with life. <laughs> and that could be anything. Have to, um, single or dating. So what's next for you in your life? Because, I mean, you're 26 years old now. You grew up on TV. You've been part of an ensemble cast with the Cosbys. You were a star of your own show with That's So Raven. Um, you've given wonderful advice to young girls through your website and whatnot. I, I love mean, your hair. Thank, um, a wig a day. I'm sorry. I'm like, what about it? It's a, really cute a wig a day. Hair. You should bring it back. Are it's you really a, are you a long or a short in in for Well, real? it depends on how I'm feeling. If it's me personally, people one, are one wig, one day, one island. Yeah, because most of the time I like to wear my normal hair because nobody knows what it looks like and I can get around without people knowing who I am. Gotcha, <laughs> gotcha. Okay, no, back Sorry, to you. Back to me. Okay, so you've been doing all this stuff all of your life, and now it's hard to believe that you're 26 years old. You're a woman. Um, I checked. You're worth 46 million dollars. I am. Yes. And so what do you want to do next? I want to be on vacation for about 10 years. Yeah. You can afford it. Why don't you do it after your run with Sister Act? I am thinking about doing that. Would you, would you take somebody with you? I want to just enjoy life. I want to enjoy the world. Whoever wants to come and visit, I want to just enjoy life and see it from the perspective of not having to work. It's good to be Raven Simone. And since Raven was a famous child star, up next we're going to play a special child star edition of Celebrity. It's going to be fun. Keep it here.